Hi there, everyone. Welcome into the campfire, our summer camp show where we deep dive into districts from around the greater Houston area. This week, we're breaking down 11 5A Division II, and let's start things off with the film session. District 11 5A Division II starts and ends with Fort Bend Marshall. The Buffaloes program is a magnet for athletes and this year will return eight players who were on the all-district team last year. That includes wide receiver Chris Marshall, who will make Marshall's new quarterback's job a lot easier. The defense will try to repeat their dominance from 2020, where they pitched six shutouts in their eight district games. Galena Park made the playoffs for the first time in a decade and finished with a 7-1 district mark. Athlete Amarian Kelly and tight end Bernardo Vasquez will be back on offense as the Yellow Jackets look to make back-to-back -back playoff appearances. Corbin Willridge also had a nice year in 2020. They went 7-3 and, and only had two losses in district play. For the Eagles, it was simple. If they scored, they won. In their three losses last year, not only were they shut out, they lost by an average of 52 points. They'll be young next year, but should have some athletes to help them compete. As far as HISD schools, Sterling was the best last year and made the postseason, but they have much to replace. Out of Austin, Madison, Northside, Waltrip, and Sharpstown, look for Austin to make the biggest leap. Newcomer of the year, Todrick Ward, is just a sophomore, but will be counted on for big plays this year for the Mustangs. What great teams we have in 11 5A Division II. This is, this is a fantastic district from the first team to the last. We're going to introduce you to some of these players that you'll be seeing in District 11 5A Division II and our players on the rise. Chris Marshall from Fort Bend Marshall is possibly the best receiver in the Houston area. As a junior, Marshall caught 44 passes for over 1,000 yards and 17 touchdowns. He's a big time playmaker who averaged 22 yards per catch and will be counted on heavily this season as the Buffaloes break in a new quarterback. Marshall has many suitors, but is believed that Texas A&M is the best chance to land the four-star wideout. At Galena Park, Amarian Kelly lined up at many different positions on offense. As the best athlete on the team, the Yellow Jackets wanted the ball in Kelly's hands as much as possible. His legs are what made him stand out as he rushed for 837 yards and 10 touchdowns. If Galena Park hopes to make back-to-back -back playoff appearances, Kelly will be relied on heavily again this year. Playing on both sides of the ball, Willow Ridge running back and safety Javin Chapman hopes to make more of an impact this year. Last year, he ran for over 400 yards, but with the graduation of dual threat quarterback Rufus Scott, expect more carries for Chapman, which could lead to more scores. Defensively, Marshall's Jacoby Chester may be the best of the district's returning players. As a junior, Chester picked up a sack and two interceptions for a Buffalo team that many were scared to throw against. He'll be anchoring a stellar defense in 2021 before moving on to play at Kansas in college. Some phenomenal players in this district. In our immediate day segment, we talk to one of the men who leads some of these great young men. And this week, we talk to Galena Parks, Spiro Amarantos, in our media day segment with Warfus Old. All right, welcome to Media Day. We are joined with Galena Parks head coach, Spiro Amorantos. Uh, coach, heck of a year last year. God bless it. It hadn't been in the playoffs in a decade. You guys marched your way in there. Talk about what you can talk about. Talk about how it felt to, to lead this team to the playoffs. Uh, it was a special feeling. You know, the kids, uh, they had so much. Well, it's not just our kids, but all the kids across the state. They had so much to overcome this year, and our kids did a great job with the uh, with the COVID protocols that the district had set forth for us, and they were they were totally bought in. Um, uh, super proud of them. You know, it it, it, it was uh, it was really gratifying just to be able to you know turn the keys over and let the kids drive the car a little bit, I guess so to speak. But and I mean they they were it was, it was a special group of kids. Uh, it, it made coaching fun. This was a fun, even though it was very difficult. It was very long. It was it was a, it was a fun year to be a part of. 
Well, speaking about the upcoming years, what does it kind of look like for your Yellow Jackets this year in, in this district as a whole? I know it's very difficult to chase down that Fort Ben Marshall team, but that's a team you, you, you'll be going for. But talk about what you think the district landscape looks like for you. I'll tell you what, uh, Coach uh, Williams over there, they, they, he and his staff, those kids, they do a great job. Uh, I guess we're all probably aspiring to be what they are. Just a, you know, it's a perennial powerhouse. Uh, he does it the right way. Uh, they've got great kids. He's a super nice guy, you know, very classy guy. We don't expect to be where they are, obviously, but, man, they give us something something good to chase. Well, that's awesome. We're hoping for another big year for you guys. Sadly, we got four months to wait, but we'll – We'll wait it out and we'll be there to see what you guys got. Thank you for joining me today. I'll tell you what, we really appreciate you reaching out to us too and I look forward to seeing you next year. Coach, thank you so much for joining us on the campfire. We love getting to talk to Galena Park about what's going on for the Yellow Jackets. Up next, we invite in Inside High School Sports Insider Matt Harris in the District Breakdown. We're joined with Matt Harris, our Inside High School Sports Insider. We're talking 11-5A Division II. Usually uh, Fort Ben Marshall gets up on the top of that hill and just sits there and waits for somebody to knock them off. Doubt that's going to happen again this year, but give me some teams that will uh, give them a little run for their money. Yeah, so it's, it's no surprise that Marshall's really dominated this district the last few years. 12-1 um, and one last season with a loss in the state quarterfinals to Crosby and obviously – the two state championship game appearances before that. But there were two teams in my mind in this district that stood out to me behind Marshall because, of course, the last few years has kind of been Marshall and everyone else. Well, last year, Galena Park and Willow Ridge caught my eye. Now, Galena Park made its first playoff appearance in 10 years by finishing with a regular season record of 8-2 and two after back-to-back -back seasons of 4-6. and six. Galena Park returns a good amount of talent. Uh, they also returned four all-district defenders with two first-teamers and two second-teamers there. So I expect Galena Park to be right back in that, you know, eight and two playoff conversation and potentially winning their first playoff game in about 64 years, I believe. So uh, Galena Park should be right there back at the top of the district standings. Uh, and then as for Willow Ridge, back-to-back uh, -back seven and four seasons leading into 2020. Then they finished seven and two last season, but they return a lot of talent including uh, Javen Chapman at running back. Uh, and uh, he was a second team all district player last year, uh, losing some talent outside of him that they'll have to replace heading into next season. Any players that you see making a big difference? I know there's some, a, a bunch on Marshall, but anybody that you've got an eye on? Yeah. So Marshall, you mentioned, obviously they've got Chris Marshall at wide receiver. They've returned some talent from Derek Dudley at running back and some other players as well. Uh, but I, I'm looking a lot at Galena Park running back Amari and Kelly, who I think he's going to have to have a big year if the Yellow Jackets want to have success. But I think he'll do it, too. Excellent. We'll see what happens. Maybe somebody will uh, get within a couple of touchdowns of Marshall and district play. We're looking forward to that. Next week, we're going to talk 12-5A Division Two. So I'll look forward to talking to you. Yes, sir. Matt, great insight as always, but I'm actually going to call it. Willow Ridge is going to take this district next year. Quote me. Come on now. But thank you all for watching the campfire. We enjoy having you on so much, breaking down these districts as we deep dive throughout the entire greater Houston area. Throughout the week, we will have content coming at you on all of our social media platforms. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. But until next time, I'm Ashley Bullington, and thank you so much for watching The Campfire. Next week, on Monday, we'll be breaking down 12-5A Division Two.